guys saw the title i'm going to be showing you guys how to make simple beats like oz for drake so first we're going to start off with the chords when i build chords i like to build them using a piano sound because in my opinion it's easier to build chords with the piano i think it's more of a placebo effect for me you don't have to use the piano sound if, if you can just build chords from any sound but for me personally it's just easier for me to build chords when i start off with a piano so i don't know anything about music theory so like i guess like this is considered a c minor chord i start off with a c minor chord like this and then i took the note in the middle and i transposed it up one octave so basically this is what the regular chord sounds like and then when you transpose the middle note up yeah so it just kind of make it kind of in my opinion just i think it gives it more life and i added a fourth note i don't know what this is called i know there's a term for it and like music theory language and all that but i don't know anything about it for the next chords like like i said i don't know much about music theory at all so like when you build the next chords you really just got to go by ear like according to that first chord this is the these are the chords all together right now it doesn't really sound like a drake melody because it's a piano but if i go over here and go to the pad sound that i used with the same exact chords see that sounds a lot more like drake this is actually a one shot i think it's this one right here the kindle bands one shot kit yeah it just sounded like a drake type pad to me so i just used it because a lot of like the smooth like chilled out drake beats it's a lot of mid to low end melodies they're really like mellow and like uh smooth so this pad it has the exact sound that i was looking for i eq'd the low end a little bit though just to give room for the 808 without it like if you listen like so i just have to put that eq to make it more more balanced otherwise that eight way would just be clashing with the pad and it just wouldn't sound good at all so now from here you really just like if you're gonna add melodies they have to be very simple because whenever jake uses these chilled out beats they really don't have much to him at all like you really give him his space for him to like you know vent and stuff you know y'all know drake so I added this vocal one shot and uh it just sounds like this I also added an EQ to really just grab the mids because like I said, Drake's like production is predominantly like usually in like the low end to like mid range. So I added this like little, this is actually a perk sound, but it kind of has like a melodic aspect to it. And I thought it was cool. So I used that and I believe I added a reverb to it. Yeah, I added Valhalla to it. And I also really just took the mid range for it, like mid to high range ish. times drake also uses like vocal samples like actual samples from old records so you guys could do that as well but uh since i want this beat to be very very simple just like ozzy's production i just added a little vocal run right here the last thing i added is the bass this is from omnisphere After this, I added stuff to the master for the loop. I added a sound goodizer, and I know like this plugin is memed about a lot, but sometimes they can actually make your stuff sound better. Only for melodies, though. I wouldn't, I wouldn't add it to no beats, but I added a sound goodizer and made it sound clearer, more like it added kind of more life to it. So I, you know, I, I was honestly just messing around when I put it in, and it ended up sounding good, so I just left it there. And I put a vinyl on the master actually, so I wanted everything to sound kind of detuned and and like old kind of vibes. So I just put it on the 1970 preset. And I turned up the warp a little bit. The warp is basically just a detune. Turn it up, turn down the dust here. With the dust, me personally, I don't I think that the default setting for the dust is way too loud. So whenever you use vinyl, you guys can actually go pick that up. It's a free plugin. Um, whenever you use vinyl, just turn down the gain knob. That's what I do. So it gives it like this crackled sound kind of. It also took away some of the wind from that bass. And 
that's it. I had that melody and then I bounced it out. At this point, you just get into the drums because the simple melody is done. So for my drums, before I get started, I used to use the soft cliver, but I actually discovered the limiter. The limiter is kind of trash, like the default settings on FL, but if you actually know how to use it properly, like it can really make your shit sound dope. So what I discovered recently is that the limiter can do the same thing as the soft clipper pretty much if you tune it correctly, but better. So basically like better quality sounding drums, but it still slaps harder. You know what I mean? So I'll show you guys when we get there, but for now, I'm going to show you guys the drum pattern. So I start off with a hi-hat, simple two step. I had a Valhalla vintage rip to it and turned it down pretty low. I had a reverb to my hats because like uh, if I turn it off, this is what it sounds like. This is when it's on. It kind of fills in the space more, I guess you can say, so it doesn't feel as empty. And I added just a basic clap, just a clean clap, you know. So for the 808, I went with like some sort of variation of the Z808. But um, basically what I did with the 808, I went the the computerized effects here and I just turn up the EQ knob to make it bigger. So if I take this value and I turn it down, reset. Like you see, like the waveform is like a bit skinnier, but if I turn it back up again, like it's thicker, you know? So I actually had the original sample turned up. So I'm just gonna turn this wave file up. So uh, this is what the sample sounds like when it's turned. When I send it up two notes. So like these are the drums so far. Something slow, chill, vibey. And then I added this scratch effect right here. Yeah, I just filled it out with perks at this point. So I added an open hat, couple perks. Basically, I just took a basic snare kit, basic kick, and I just created this simple pattern, just like a kind of like a filler. So I just added this. Yeah, the key is really just to keep it simple, man. That's really what creates the hits nowadays. So now let me go back to the limiter that I was talking about. So so basically, like this the limiter, it does exactly what the soft clipper does. It kind of does it while keeping the drums at like higher quality, I guess you can say, because the soft clipper in a way like kind of like destroys the quality of the drums, which is like it can sound good, but like you might not always want that, right? Like if I take the soft clipper, for example, turn off the limiter, like It kind of like low-key changes like i don't know if what they call like the transients of the 808 i guess but like when you have the the fruity limiter like it's still clear you might not be able to hear it but like me i can actually hear it if i really like you know focus on it basically how you're gonna do that is you're gonna turn the ceiling all the way up and basically this saturation knob is like it acts like a soft clipper so like you turn it down so you get it to like sound how you want it to like a nasty loud distortion by turning up the gain and it still won't go over zero db so like not too much though yeah man that's pretty much how you make a beat like oz for drake if this video helps you in any way be sure to leave a like comment and then subscribe if you're new man i hope y'all learned something from this and yeah i'm out